Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 49 in chapter 9. In this chapter, we talk about linear momentum. And there, in this problem, it gives you a new idea, a new definition, and this defin a definition of a coefficient of restitution, e. And the definition is given there, right? So first one, let's prove if the e equal to 1, this is a perfect elastic collision. If e equal to 0, this is a perfect inelastic collision. How can we do that? First one, we consider elastic collision. That means the linear momentum is conserved and also the kinetic energy is conserved. Do you, do you agree? And if in these two equations, we solve it many times on our textbook, so I suggest you to remember this equation from the textbook. So this is the final relationship, the relationship between these velocities, right? And then if you solve this, uh, solve this equation, you can very easily to find the e is just equal to one. Now we proved it. Now look at the inelastic collisions. For inelastic collisions, do you remember? And the object A hits object B and sticks together. When these two objects stick together, it's called inelastic collision. Because these two objects stick together, they get the same final velocity, Va plus equal to Vb plus. So very easily you can find this E just equal to zero, right? Because Va plus equal to Vb plus. The next one is just ask us to measure it. If we have an object just fall down and hit the hard surface of the ground and then punch back, to zero. So in these two cases, we need to find the VA and VA plus, right? VA and VA plus. How can we do that? And uh, we can see the ball hit the ground. We can see think another object is just the Earth. Do you agree? It's just the Earth. And the Earth, when this ball just hit the Earth, did the Earth move? We can consider not, right? So that makes the Vb equal to zero and the Vb plus equal to zero. So only thing we need to find is Va plus and Va. How can we do that? There we consider the energy is conserved for the free fall body. So that means the final kinetic energy equals the initial potential energy. So we can get Va. And then the Va plus is just a punch back, right? So we get the VA plus. Please take care. One with negative sign, one is not. Why? Because we need to consider velocity's direction. There we consider the move down as positive. So this VA is positive square 2GH. And VA plus is negative square 2GH plus. Now we put this VA and VA plus inside because we think the VB and the VB plus is zero. So we put them inside, we get the final answer. Thank you.